Hey there, my name is Brent. I'm raiding the Sil Poncho, supplied by MEC Mountain Equipment Co-op in Canada. And as a bike bike tourist, I can attest that this is definitely worth picking up. Comes recommended. Uh, I'm, as you can see, I'm riding right now, and I didn't want to get a rain suit. I thought I would experiment with this because I'm a sweaty guy, and I end up getting just as wet inside the rain suit as I do outside. But as you can see. The wind flopping around inside is keeping me quite cool. I have the hood not on, so I have nice ventilation through the helmet. And if it really starts port coming down, I can put the hood on and it'll keep me pretty dry. Just wait for these cars to pass. Now, uh, one thing about the corners is that they can get caught in your wheels, so I recommend tying them down some way. I took out the elastic band strap that comes in the back that's meant for the backpacks. I put two carabiners on each corner, and I have them wrapped around the seat post underneath. I don't know if you can see that, but it keeps the corners out of the wheels pretty well. I haven't had an incident yet. I've been riding for a while. Just gone through a little... Vancouver Island drizzle and uh, coming up the tail end of it now and uh, I can attest my legs are bone dry. I uh, wear these booties underneath and uh, they're, they're the same thing. Get a little bit of getting used to but uh, trust me like I'm having a good time with this. Had a little flat patch so I thought I'd talk about it. But uh, I got the front corner secured, right, one right in the middle there on the uh, central dry pack that I keep my food in. And I have the other corners on the uh, panniers on each side. And uh, nor at first I was holding them with my hands, but it got rather cumbersome. And as you can see, I'm riding with my arm not even out of it. So this is keeping my arms dry. It's keeping them pretty cool too, because I can still get some of the wetness just coming through by conduction. But uh, yeah, I, I, I love this. One uh, drawback I could see being a problem is if I was in the prairies and I was getting a nasty crosswind, yeah, it would blow rain right to each side of me and that, that could be a problem as well as getting the thing stuck in the spokes. But uh, I'm not in the prairies, so yeah, only foreseeable problem. Other than that, just been taking some getting used to and uh, well recommended. It's uh, worth it's worth the money. I don't have a rain suit. This is all I have with some rainproof booties and a nice warm reflective jacket that's not waterproof but is breathable. I can wear that underneath if I wanted to. But it's uh, it's not cold. It's just wet. Here we are at Canoe Creek, just passed by the Giant Cedar Recreation Area in BC on the Tofino Highway. All the very best to you and you and yours. So that, just a little continuation on the uh, Rab Silt Poncho review. As you can see I have it uh, stowed pretty securely. Some of my front panniers there. It remains uh, ready to go. I just have to uh, unravel it, put it over myself. And uh, yeah, as you can see I'm pretty dry. Just uh, took it off now because the rain's gone and I want some of the sweat to evaporate. Yeah, just one more thing. A good rule of thumb is uh, if uh, it's misting, but it's not enough to make the concrete wet, then don't worry about putting on the sill poncho. Just put it on when the concrete is that wet, but everywhere. Because like right now, my body eats enough just to evaporate whatever's falling on me, you know? Fenders for the sill poncho to work. You need fenders. Otherwise, you're just making an upside down funnel with your head at the top. 